The Trump administration, meanwhile, is vowing to defeat the massive criminal enterprise known as MS-13. Today, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, blamed a nearly open southern border for the gang's rise and says that defeating them will be a top priority for his Department of Justice. The president chimed in, tweeting this, the weak illegal immigration policies of the Obama administration allowed bad MS-13 gangs to form in cities across the U.S. We are removing them fast. So what is the plan to beat MS-13, which is estimated to have 10,000 members in the United States. The Attorney General of the United States joins us now. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you, Tucker. Good to so be to you. what extent are the immigration policies of the last couple of presidential terms tied to the rise of MS-13? There's no doubt that it, it had an impact because so many of these people are illegally here and they came uh, without proper authority and with a good lawful border, many of them would not be here. They've sent some of the most violent people who would never have cleared a proper visa situation, you know, a visa process. They had uh, crimes they've committed in El Salvador. So, yes, I don't think there's any doubt that the open border, the lawlessness that we've had, is a factor in the rise of um, this MS-13. So some of them, we know, came here as unaccompanied minors illegally and were allowed to stay. Under the former policies, do you know... If an unaccompanied minor was found to have ties to MS-13, would he have been immediately deported or allowed to stay? No, I think the MS-13, uh, the undocumented people who came were sent here by their leaders back in El Salvador, many of them operating from jail where they're serving murder convictions and those kind of things. So they were directed how to enter if they came and claim on themselves as a, you know, a minor, yeah. uh, they, and the, people, the Obama administration let them come in the country, then took them to their destination city and turned them over to some relative that claimed to be a relative. So they had a mechanism to enter the country. Now, they've been here, a number of them have, for a number of years, but in the late, uh, in the mid-80s and, and, and th up to mid-90s, uh, really uh, 2000, about 2009, uh, we had some real progress against them. Uh, the numbers dropped, uh, the violence was on the defensive, uh, but they've come back uh, aggressively in the recent years. So there are cases documented of MS-13 members bragging about exploiting our permissive immigration laws. How will you change the policies to keep them out? Well, first we're going to secure the border. Uh, we're going to build a wall. We're going to add more pro uh, agents on the border. Yeah. Uh, the numbers have already dropped dramatically. We had March was the lowest entrance of illegal immigrants in 17 years in this country, and that's Donald Trump's leadership. He is determined to do that and end this lawlessness. We're backing him up. The Homeland Security Department is really working hard, and we're going to continue on that. And so the numbers are down. So when fewer enter, our Border Patrol have a much better chance of catching those who do, identifying those who are violent, and deporting them. Here's what I don't understand. That seems like a pretty obvious solution that any country acting in its own interest would do. Why hasn't that been done? Why, if we knew these people were coming from El Salvador and joining a criminal enterprise like this that killed people, why would we allow that? We just simply have been in denial about this whole process. We are having a lot of people come to the country who are not dangerous uh, illegally, yeah. uh, but a lot of them are, and these groups are, and there's been such a political defense of the entire process, a uh, defense and attack of anybody who wants to end the lawlessness. Uh, what we want to say to the world is, Please come lawfully, Yes. wait your term, make your application, and it'll be evaluated. And if you're accepted, come. But don't come illegally. That's what the American people have a right to expect their government to do. And in the process, we can protect them from some of the violent criminals and terrorists that are coming in. So the government of El Salvador has designated MS-13 a terror organization. Would it be helpful for our government to do the same? Abs I think so, perhaps. I believe it could qualify for that. There are rules that uh, I guess the State Department does to establish that. But, uh, but we know they're violent. We know that if we focus our prosecutorial and investigative resources, and we had a meeting today with all the top federal law enforcement officers uh, and the agencies in our government to focus on this group, and as we have cases and we work them hard, we uh, pursue convictions and then we deport people who are here unlawfully. Uh, we can devastate this gang. We're, gonna, we're going after them. We are not going to allow them to take over a block, uh, a corner of our communities, and terrorize people with this violence. They use machetes. They kill children. They put children uh, in uh, prostitution at age 12. 
Uh, this is a, one of the most violent gangs in, in the history of our country, no doubt about it. The, really quickly, I want to put up a map of the spread of MS-13. They're not just in the border towns, you would imagine. They're suffused through the country. How hard will it be to root this group out in all these different cities? Tucker, it's going to be hard but not impossible. These are not geniuses. They're not the uh, top criminals, and many of them are poor criminals, actually. Uh, they're involved in the kind of activities that can be identified and they can be prosecuted. It's 40 states have MS-13 members in them. Uh, some of them, we've got 10,000 now in the country, but I believe if we stay at it, we can devastate this organization, and that's going to be our goal. You wonder when all this happened. Mr. Attorney General, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Good to be Appreciate with you. It.